You can't make this up. A new report claims that Prime Video is releasing a bunch of false leaks for The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power Season 2. And based on all the leaks we've seen, it's actually turning people away from the show. <laughs> you can't make this up. Before we get to this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our videos here at The Trent Report. This is over at thatparkplace.com. You should have this website bookmarked if you don't already. And this report comes from Fellowship of Fans. They posted a statement on X. Uh, it's kind of hard to read there. Uh, so we'll just, uh, I did transcribe it. So we'll just read it here up here. It says Fellowship of Fans has been made aware of a long-term plan carried out over roughly the last six months by the production and team members of the Rings of Power to release and spread false rumors pertaining to season two. So they're saying that the Rings of Power, a production, like the Amazon Studios, Prime Video, are spreading false rumors per pertaining to season two. Their statement continues, says, due to this revelation, Fellowship of Fans will be halting any releases of future reveals and scoops for the time being in order to undertake a full investigation to reevaluate and analyze our previous scoops and reveals for season two to see if we have misreported anything or released purposeful misinformation and get to the bottom of all this. From what we understand, this attempt was to catch out people who were leaking in the crew and to make sure in future that outlets would be leaking out wrong information. We will get back to you guys in a few weeks time to update you if we have any updates from our investigation, which will include a list of the headlines, big scoops and reveals from us and other outlets that we can confirm uh, is true and not misinformation. So again, just to reiterate, they're claiming that Prime Video, Amazon Studios, the production for Rings of Power over the last six months put out a bunch of false rumors pertaining to season two because they're trying to catch people who were leaking in the crew and to make sure in future that outlets would be leaking out wrong information. So this is absolutely hilarious to me because if we look at some of these past headlines uh, on what has been leaked out over the past six months, uh, the stranger is going to be made into a major rival and enemy against Sauron. We've got uh, Ungoliant and Morgoth being depicted as Goldberry and Tom Bombadil. You've got you've got Adar and Sauron uh, being rivals. So these are some of the things that have leaked out over the last six months, and you're telling me that this is a, that the Rings of Power production leaked this stuff out to try and smoke people out. But at the same time, you would think that it's trying to gin up interest in the show as well. However, all of those leaks are literally keeping people away. I mean, the first season already saw an absolutely abysmal completion rate. 63% of people decided not to complete the season after watching uh, the first episode. And now you think that this stuff that is an insult to J.R. Tolkien's legacy, it does not take place in his legendarium whatsoever. Like the wizards didn't even exist in the second age. You've got these hobbits running around in the second age that didn't exist. You think all of these stuff, uh, Sauron going to be played by an Indian guy. Uh, I mean, you name it. All of these leaks that we've seen coming out. Uh, Adar being the commander of Sauron's army when he attacks Aregion. All of those things that have leaked out is supposed to be ginning up interest? Absolutely not. It's just turning more and more people away. It's showing that they're doubling down on what they did in season one, which is destroying Tolkien's legacy, or at least attempting to do so, completely rewriting what he wrote about the Second Age. Uh, this is just absolutely hilarious to me that uh, Fellowship of Fans uh, trying to say that they've been um, potentially spreading misinformation from Prime Video have revealed that a lot of these leaks from Prime Video are coming from them. And it's just absolute trash. You would think that a major studio would have learned something from how Spider-Man No Way Home dealt with leaks, where the stuff that was coming out was stuff that people were actually excited about. Oh, Doc Ock is coming back. Oh, Green Goblin is coming back. Oh, we're getting Tobey Maguire. We're getting Andrew Garfield back. 
and they just wouldn't really address any of that stuff. Uh, but uh, you like the, the the momentum kept building up and up and up and up and up, and people were getting exciting about that. The stuff that people were actually excited and interested to see, but none of these studios, and clearly uh, Prime Video and Amazon Studios, uh, did not learn anything from how Spider-Man No Way Home worked. Instead, they release stuff that does not get people excited in fact it just gets people like what are you even doing i have like this is absolute garbage you're not fixing anything like do you not realize you made a massive mistake in the first season <laughs> and that's what people are scratching their heads like what are you doing over there uh did you even read anything that tolkien wrote Ab obviously not and if you did you are just completely ignoring it so uh, I just think this is absolutely hilarious that these absolutely atrocious leaks, uh, quote unquote, false leaks coming from Prime Video are, are actually damaging season two because they are so bad. And now we're getting uh, this report here claiming that they were indeed coming from uh, Prime Video. And you really just you just can't make it up. I mean, the people running the, this stuff, they, they really are stupid. They just really are dumb and stupid and they just self-sabotage themselves all of the time but uh what do you guys make of this let me know uh in the comments below remember to always be charitable but to always speak the truth mm -hmm.